A blizzard warning is posted for much of Kelowna tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. But first, we have some thunderstorms to deal with here in Sioux Falls and southeastern Kelowna. That's what we have during the overnight hours. Could be some pockets of heavy rain, maybe a little hail. Overnight, we'll see 25 in Aberdeen. Windy, 26 in Pier and Rapids City. We'll see a mix of rain and snow coming in later tonight, 21 the low. Then tomorrow during the day, it's going to become really windy by the afternoon hours. 20 to 40 mile an hour winds plus. The rain will change to snow in Sioux Falls after a high of 40. Aberdeen, blizzard warning 30. Pier, blizzard warning 31. Rapid City, winter storm warning 32 degrees. A big wet winter storm to talk about in just a moment. Kelowland News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News, first at four. Authorities are investigating yet another train derailment that forced people to evacuate, this time in Minnesota. Plus, in the wake of the Nashville school shooting, we talk with school districts in Kelloland about keeping students and staff safe. And later, we catch up with former and longtime anchorman Steve Hemmingson as Kelloland TV continues to celebrate its 70th anniversary. Good afternoon, and thanks for tuning in to First and Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. Much of Kelloland is once again bracing for a winter storm, but this time we're also expecting thunderstorms. For the very latest on the track of the storm and which areas are going to get some snow, let's send it over to meteorologist Megan Chatta. Megan? Well, good afternoon, Don and Kelly. Let's enjoy this afternoon while we can in Sioux Falls. It is warmer than we have been lately. 40 degrees, and those winds are light. That will change by tonight and into tomor tomorrow morning. For tonight, we will watch those thunderstorms in southeastern Kelloland, including Sioux Falls, that do have a marginal risk to become severe, which would produce hail and damaging winds. So you can see that area in green. They will even have some excessive rainfall chances where we could see around an inch an hour possible, also in those green areas, including Sioux Falls. And then tomorrow morning, 1 a.m. to 4 p.m., an ice storm warning for the Watertown area where we could see significant icing with several inches of snow in the blizzard warning. There is that blizzard warning in white where we could see heavy snow and very strong winds. Western South Dakota does have a winter storm warning for those areas in red. And then Sioux Falls and Rapid City are included in the winter weather advisory. When I say heavy snow, here's a look at the snow forecast for tomorrow. We can see some of those totals from winter to Chamberlain up to Aberdeen and Sisseton, 8 to 12 inches possible. Sioux Falls could see around an inch or two after the rain ends and turns to snow. Like I said, very strong winds with this. For tonight, lows in the 20s and 30s. That snow will start in western South Dakota, move to the east after the thunderstorms in southeastern Kelloland, and then tomorrow. There's that snow, strong north winds anywhere from 20 to 45 miles an hour with even stronger wind gusts. We'll have another look at that storm in just a little bit. Oh, things are going to be changing and they'll be changing fast. Yeah, here we go again, I guess. Yeah, thanks, Megan. And to stay on top of this changing storm, make sure to download the Kettleland Storm Tracker app to your smart devices. You're going to receive weather alerts and you can also watch the radar. And if you take some pictures of the storm in your area, we'd love to see them. Just email them to youshare at kettleland.com. And you can also share them with us on our Facebook page. People in western Minnesota had to evacuate this morning following a train derailment. The sheriff's office said numerous cars of a BNSF train derailed in Raymond, Minnesota. Some of the derailed cars were carrying ethanol and corn syrup that started on fire. Part of the town near the crash site was evacuated to a school in another city. The Red Cross also responded to support evacuees and emergency responders. We had a lot of volunteers that showed up and we were able to put a breakfast together and uh, we served a lot of people and uh, we have uh, about 20, 25 volunteers here at the moment and uh, we have meals planned for the rest of the day. And so uh, anybody that needs help, uh, we're here today. Residents have since been allowed to return home. BNSF says there were no injuries reported and there's no concern for air or water contamination. A bipartisan group of lawmakers on Capitol Hill are introducing new legislation to improve rail safety. Kettleland News Washington, D.C. correspondent Rashad Hudson has more. 
It's time to improve our nation's rail safety standards. Just hours after the latest major train derailment, this time in Raymond, Minnesota, House lawmakers called for change. So many of us are concerned about a derailment in our backyards, in our neighborhoods, in our communities. In an effort to improve rail safety across the country, Ohio Democrat Amelia Sykes and Republican Bill Johnson are introducing the Rail Act. The bipartisan bill would increase the maximum penalties for violations of rail safety and enhance inspection requirements on all trains, including those carrying hazardous materials. We cannot stand by and risk another community being impacted by a devastating train derailment. Over a 16-year span, the Federal Railroad Administration reported an average of 1,400 train derailments each year. The time for action is now. Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty and Sykes say it's time to hold rail companies accountable. Far too long, rail corporations have put profits over people, endangering our communities and our environment in the process. Johnson and Sykes say they are working to gain support in the House to move their bill forward. Ohio Senators J.D. Vance and Sherrod Brown are working on similar legislation in the Senate. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson. President Joe Biden will visit Minneapolis next week as part of his Investing in America tour. The White House says the president will travel to the Minneapolis area on April 3rd to discuss how his economic agenda has led to strong job growth. The Biden administration says companies have committed to invest more than $2 billion in Minnesota since Biden took office. It also cites Minnesota's low unemployment rate and record high numbers of new business applications. For nearly a year, the price of a used vehicle was becoming affordable again for millions of people. The peak in April reached more than $31,000. Over the last year, that average price had dropped to about $27,000. But now the supply of used vehicles is failing to keep up with demand, meaning prices are creeping up again. Many buyers have been priced out of the new car market, leading to fewer trade-ins on dealer lots. Tens of thousands of outdoor child swings are being recalled over a fall hazard. About 43,000 of the Delta Enterprise Corporation's two-in-one outdoor kids swings are impacted by the recall. Images of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and Paw Patrol can be found on the top of the swings. There have been multiple reports of the straps breaking. However, no one has been hurt. The swings were sold at Walmart. Safety officials are also recalling adult bike helmets that were sold at Amazon. The recall involves JBM International Adult Bike Helmets. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the helmets do not comply with stability, labeling, and certification requirements. The commission says they may not protect you in a crash. If you bought the helmet, you should stop using it and call JBM International for a refund. Coming up after.